Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. I am incredibly excited for this one. The VST I'm going to be reviewing is the Isotope Vinyl. And typically on this series, what I usually do is download a VST, use it in my production, test it out a little bit, and then review it on camera. However, I've not actually used this VST yet. This is actually the first VST on this uh, entire series that I've not tried out at all. So I'm doing this 100% cold. I have no idea what to expect. I've seen good things about this plugin and I'm really, really excited to use it. You know, a lot of times people ask me what plugins I use. It's kind of like a common music production question. And honestly, most of the ones I use are free and that's why obviously I review so many of them. But in this case, I've not used the Isotope Vinyl yet. And what it's mainly designed to do is simulate kind of the old school white noise slash record noise slash effects, you know, of the old school vinyl, uh, you know, setup, right? Um, hence the name. So I am, I'm just gonna jump right into this. Again, I've not used this yet. So let's have some fun with this. So first off, I'm gonna show you two different samples that I have. This is one basically from one of my tracks, Burnbound Mice Uma Vase. So uh, just so you can hear kind of, you know, compare and contrast. And then I have a percussion sample. So it sounds like this. And I'll start from the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna pull it up. So first off, the GUI, uh, which I've actually seen a little bit before, I love. You know, right away, I love anything I think Isotope does, immediately you want to basically download it, especially if it's for free. Like how do you beat a free Isotope plugin? What jumps out at me immediately when it comes to this plugin is the year. I don't know what it is, but that's something about me that I think is just super cool. Also, you have the RPM right here. So you can really get pretty in-depth on this plugin. And so kind of clicking around, so you have basically the RPM, the year, which I, the year I think is just super cool. Mono or stereo, which I love. You have obviously a bypass right there. And then you have new, obviously I'm gonna mess around with these. Oh, actually, let me do this actually. Let me see if it actually, so you have mechanical noise where electrical noise, dust, scratch, and warp depth. And then you have also the warp model. So I'm gonna do the right, I think that's supposed to be just like a regular sine wave uh, looks like. Uh, so I'm just gonna turn it up without anything going on. So let's see if I... So you have like the mechanical, so what's cool about this plugin actually is that I feel like you'd almost use this as opposed to adding it onto, you know, a vocal or a percussion sample or a synth or an instrument, you could just use this as a standalone plugin to create a certain effect. Right, if you want some like white noise, and obviously I might filter this. So this, and you got where? Oh, nothing on where, okay. Oh, that's cool. And then we got dust. All right, nothing on dust. Scratch, nothing. Warp depth. So some of them seems like you can do without any uh, signal, other ones you need a signal. Um, I'm gonna just see what happens with their mounts. If I do, uh, let's say this. Let's see. Oh, maybe these are just for dust and scratch then. Okay, so those are settings for that. It's just seven years. Oh, that's awesome. Let's try, uh, I kinda like the 1960s one for some reason. Try doing RPM. Not too much, actually, yeah. Not too much difference. Doesn't really have any uh, difference on the warp models. Um, all right, so I'm gonna play the sample now. I'm gonna loop it. So you're gonna be hearing this a lot. So let's loop this real quick. Um, where's loop? Why can't I see it? Oh, there it is. All right, so now it's on, nothing on. So we already hear mechanical noise, right? Let me turn this down. Right, now it's just where. Ooh. So it sounds like a record that's worn out. I think the warp model, unless unless it's for something else, doesn't... Oh, it does have actually a little bit of difference, yeah. So it almost actually sounds, it sounds like it's going through like, almost like a, a really odd tube. Yeah. 
Try doing. Oh, that's cool. You can do it. In... That's cool. Oh, so it's just the bypass. The the year is really cool. So let's turn that down again. Do that in mono. So electrical noise. Seems to... Now I'm I'm curious about the dust. So it seems like maybe this is kind of the um the volume or the max maybe the, and this is like maybe the dry wet. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like that crackling noise, right? It's cool. That we can hear the dust more. Seems like as the year goes on, it gets brighter in terms of like the dust. Alright, right, so turn that back down. Let's try the scratchingness. Turn up. Uh, oh. So you can so so that's the amount of scratches. Um, I'm not a, I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of that. Being honest. And that's cool if you have like one. It might get annoying though. Oh, so that's okay. So can That'd be cool, like once in a while. But I feel like, especially if you have something like this. Right, maybe something like. Make it more like subtle, right? I think that would be be, be pretty cool. Um, now turning all these down again, I'm gonna do warp depth now. Let's see what this one is. Alright. Oh, so it's almost like. So it seems like. When you get more to the other years. That is a really cool effect. Can I can I configure that? Oh, I can't. Oh man, so I, I just have to resample that then. Oh. That is that is a really cool effect. That is something I think I'd use in my own production. If I wanted to be like boom and bring something down. Can I do that halfway too? Let's see. That's cool. Let me see how that sounds. Like... I'm gonna like maybe the spin down's different. Oh, I like that. I like that last little hint. So I wanna say before I go on to the percussion, I'm gonna try pretty much I gave you the scope of the plugin. I'm going to try it now on the percussion just to hear kind of the difference as well. Um, obviously, it affects everything different. I think on the percussion, it's going to be more light. Right? On the vocals, it's going to be way more apparent that there's something modulating the vocals, you know, and everything. When it comes to percussion, I think especially this sample itself too. If I added some noise and especially some dust, I don't think it's going to be that crazy. But one thing I want to say, now that I've officially tested it out, I'm giving this one, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. I'm giving, giving it the perfect rating. I think because for a free plugin, you can't get any better, right? Isotope always makes amazing plugins. But I think the second thing is when it comes to most vinyl effects and samples, it's usually just like you're hearing some dust or whatever. Like, that's all you usually hear, right? And that, or that's usually the only sample you get. So it's cool that you can actually affect everything. You have, you know, obviously like a dry, wet, and a volume for these uh, two. You have this kind of unique spin down on warp depth. And then you have these other, you know, other things. The warp model as well. The year, I think, is just awesome, actually. I love that they have the year there. And also the RPM. So let's just out a little more. I'll try to, like, maybe, uh, like, like, loop this. Oh, is that already looping? Okay. Actually, no, I'll just loop this whole thing, actually. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So let's have some fun with this. 
Like if I was actually gonna do this. That'd be cool if you did something like here, right? Now I'm gonna go to where again. Um, I wonder if there's a full... So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to where now. Show automation. So I'm gonna do like this. I think this, like, this would be cool to search. So like... Right, and then have something come in, and then... Actually, I'd have to maybe adjust that a little more. Let's turn this off. So that's kind of cool. I think I'd do something like that. And then I'm like, one, two, three, let's go. Boom, and then something kicks off. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed, uh, obviously, me messing around with the Isotope vinyl. Definitely an amazing plugin. Probably one of the coolest I've had yet on this series. I just think, especially for something so ultra specific as like a vinyl effect or vinyl plugin, I don't think I could. I could have not imagined that there would be this many parameters you could adjust for something like this. You know, what a great plugin! Definitely just checking out. Obviously, it's free, so why not?